Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost. <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2018. The album. Dad. AF. Okay, let's get right into this video. Um, I apologize <laughs> for the lighting in this video because it is getting dark outside. But I just watched Laura Lee's apology video, and I know that the next 20 hours of my life are going to be inundated with people asking for my response. So I thought, you know what? I want to just give a very, very honest response to her video after I literally just got done watching it. Um, I want it just to be my opinion about what I think about it, and then I want to move on. I, I, I believe, I, 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 I believe a lot more is going to come out. I think we're going to see, I think the next apology video will be from Gabriel Zamora. I think he will address the picture, and then I think it will kind of turn this whole thing down. Now, I said the other day in my video that uh, whoever did the first video would set the bar, right? And if anybody else came out after that and addressed the picture, like I said this in my video earlier today, God, I just can't get my day straight. I post so many drama videos. Listen, okay? It has been a tough week to be, I mean, I know it's a tough week to be a beauty influencer, but us drama channels, I mean, we can hardly keep keep up with all of it, you know? So anyway, um, but in my Manny video that I made earlier today, um, I said that, you know, the fact that he did not address this picture with he and, you know, Gabriel, Laura, and Nikita, that if somebody came out like Laura in her video and addressed it, that it was going to change everything. And what was he going to do? Come out with a second video apologizing to Jeffrey? So, this is what I think, okay? I have asked for these people to get on video. They have gotten on video. Thank you. Um, a lot of people in my last video were like, what do you expect from these people? I think I said three times in my Manny video, thank you for putting this, getting on video, finally. You know, this is all we wanted to see. This is what your fans wanted to see. They wanted to see you be authentic and whatever. Um, a lot of people... I'm just going to say right now the critiques that the video is getting underneath there. When I looked, here, I'll pull it up right now, but it had like 4,000 likes and 1,000 dislikes. Um, let me see what it has right now because I was just watching it. Um, the video has 5.9 thousand likes and 2.2 thousand dislikes. So a lot of people aren't really caring for it. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? The critique, the overall critique is that people think it's a fake. They think it's they don't think it's sincere. They don't think she's really crying in the video because she seems very, very emotional. I've had lots of friends of mine that have cried in their life that never shed a tear. So I don't know, okay? What I, I will say is this, and before I want to get anything else, she addresses in there that people have contacted her mother and are coming for her um, niece. Now, having been on the receiving end myself of a lot of hate, that is some cruel ass shit to do to anybody, okay? Whatever your issues are with Laura Lee or any of these people, whatever your issues are with any influencer out there, to contact their family who didn't ask to be part of that in any way whatsoever is really cruel, and I think that's uncalled for. I'm also going to say that whatever your opinions are, and I'm not going to highly moderate my comment section. I just never do. I can't keep up with it. But please be nice in how you say things in the comment section below. You know, if you want to say, I don't believe her apology, or yes, I believe her, I'm a super fan, or I was a super fan and I'm not anymore, or I don't really know what to think, you know, whatever, that's fine. I will tell you what I thought. I thought, I like the fact that it was very short. I like the fact that it was like four minutes and 53 seconds, okay? She didn't get on there. It didn't seem scripted to me. But the one thing about her and Manny's videos both was that they were edited. Like, there were clips taken out of it. I didn't understand why they weren't just like one shot, sit down. I, I didn't get that. Like, what was the edited out part? I, but that's just, you know, a YouTuber's eye, I think, uh, looking for things in there. Um, she went in and she addressed the tweets. Uh, I I knew that she wouldn't address each tweet individually, and I think that's appropriate. I think she just said, I'm not the person that I was back then. I'm a changed person. But, you know, maybe she is. You know, I don't know. When she got to the part where she addressed the picture, I was like, okay, this is a game changer. This is what, and I can't speak for the other drama channels. I don't know what they want. I don't know what you fans want out there. I don't know what you just bystanders watching the videos going on expect or what you want. I wanted Laura Lee to get on video and address the picture. She got on video and she addressed the picture. I don't know if her excuse or what she said is true. I guess I think more will be revealed. I think we will find out more as Gabriel does something because he's kind of just waiting to see what happens. 
A lot of people speculated that Manny did not address the picture because he's waiting to see what Gabriel does with it. And if that's the case, what that says is that this background story isn't true, okay? That nobody knew really that the picture was going to be posted. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm kind of at this point where I kind of like hope that is true and then it's just not as deep as all of this, right? But I had asked I personally wanted to see, okay, Laura Lee get on video and own the picture. I felt like she got on video and she owned the picture. I thought that if the story is true, she did the best that she could do. I think what she said in the video was, listen, you know, like I didn't know the picture was posted. That being said, and this was the part that was important, okay? That being said, I still need to own that part of it. When she addressed Jeffree Star directly and said, I know that we're not friends anymore, but I'm sorry, I was like, okay, you guys, this could have been done a week ago and we could have just bypassed all of this. It didn't have to be that deep. So thank you, Laura, for addressing that. I was impressed. Um, I, I really didn't think she was gonna go there. When the video started, I thought she is really gonna just address the tweets and nothing else. So. Love her or hate her, I was impressed with the fact that she did that. Um, you know, I've been highly emotional in videos before. I'm highly emotional in all my videos, but everybody knows I'm a crier. You can look at the videos where I'm crying and you can actually see tears coming out. People are saying in the video she deserves an Oscar. Other people are saying, I've never left your side. I love you. It's very split, you know? And I think what's going to happen as we go forward is it's really going to matter what these people do going forward, if that makes sense. I think the fact that they're all coming out with apologies, it was interesting because a lot of people in the comment sections were like, what's with all of these influencer apologies? Did you just come up out of a cave? I mean, did you just wake up? Like, there's been a lot going on, right? And I'm happy that they're coming out and they're making apologies on video. Um, you know, I'm not going to say what I want to see because whenever I say what I want to see, somebody always counters that and says, well, it's not enough, right? What I would suggest to Laura is I would suggest to Laura taking a couple days off YouTube. I would take a couple days off of social media. I would take care of herself. She, she has addressed it now. I just bit the side of my mouth and it hurt like hell. Um, she has addressed it the way that she's going to address it, okay? I'm sure that this video went past PR people. I'm sure they approved it. I'm sure that she watched it back before she posted it. So what that says is she knew what she was putting out there in the world, okay? It's at this point where you guys are the ones that are going to have to decide whether or not you believe her and whether or not you continue to choose to follow her. She's lost a lot of subs. And I think over time, what's going to happen is people will come back. I think people will start following her again because they'll see that she's changed if she has. I think it would be good for her to take a couple of days, maybe even a week off of YouTube and off of social media and just not interact at all. And then I think when she's kind of collected her thoughts, because I, I said that it would be nice if she got on video with her husband to kind of talk about what she wants to do moving forward, what her plan is, how she wants to be more fan based for you guys, you know? When we apologize to people, and I just actually did a video about this on my Peterisms channel, which is like a motivational, inspirational channel. I just did it the other day, and I said, you know, um, when we apologize to people, that's just the start, you know? It's about owning what you did and then changing your behaviors to follow that. That when we say, I'm sorry, a lot, often what that means is, like my dad used to say to me when I was a kid, forget what I just did. Um, I don't know if that's how this will be interpreted by people. There were a lot of people supporting her in the comment section below, but there were a lot of people that weren't buying it either. And were like, you know, I mean, I already got on Twitter. The video had been up like 10 minutes and people were like, did you see this BS apology? What do you think about this? I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section below what you think, you know? I always like to make my videos and kind of just put my opinion out there and then allow you guys to have the conversation in the comment section below. Do not be cruel to one another, okay? At the end of the day, these are beauty influencers, okay? This is not World War III. Um, and, you know, I said this in my videos in the past, in the past week even, you know? We all make mistakes. We all foul. We all, you know, err in the ways of life. I, I would hope that at some point we would want people to accept our apologies as well and allow us to move on and grow, you know? Um, my opinion is a little bit different about Laura's video than it is about Manny, and I know people are going to compare it and say, well, why did you have an issue with Manny's video or apology and you didn't have an issue with Laura's? And I will tell you why, okay? Because Laura addressed the picture, which is where this all started. None of this would have been going on, and I've said in my videos, I'm not addressing, you know, like a, the direct tweets. I'm not going to talk about all that, you know? But none of this would have ever happened had it not been with that picture. 
Laura addressed the picture. She set the, the bar now at this point, right? And I think the fact, whether Jeffrey wants to hear it or not, you know, I said in a video the other day uh, on my other channel that, you know, sometimes when we're ready to make apologies to people, they're not ready to hear them from us, you know? Like, he might not be at a point where he wants to hear what she has to say. He might be watching the video and being like, girl, I don't buy it, not one bit, okay? Forget it, right? She made an attempt. On her end, she did what I think she was supposed to do. I don't know if it's sincere. Only the people around her know if it's sincere. Do I think she's highly emotional for going underneath 5 million subs? Do I think that this has really been hard on her? I can't even imagine. I, I can't, you know? Which is why it was so baffling to me the other day when she was posting these Snapchats and things with filters and it just was like she seemed like she could care less, right? And so maybe what she was doing was trying to act as if everything was okay because she didn't want to completely melt and fall apart. She, if this is Laura Lee emotional, because I haven't seen tons of videos of hers. I've seen a few where she's emotional. If this is Laura Lee emotional, she seemed almost kind of bordering hysterics. So if that's the case, then if that's how she handles situations like that, especially when her family is being threatened, then I 100% believe this, you know, I don't believe necessarily everything about it, okay? I don't disbelieve it either. What I'm saying is I believe her emotion in the video. I can imagine what it's like because it's happened to me to have your family and people attack. That's just some gross shit. I'm sorry, okay? That anybody would do that. I don't know what kind of people in the world think that that's okay, but that's not right. No matter what your issues are, no matter what your issues are, that's not okay. And I don't promote that and I don't care for that. So if, you know, that's what this is all about to me, that, I mean, I'm cool with accepting her apology and moving on. And I think at this point, what we're gonna have to start doing is, when these, like I said in my Manny video, that if, if, if more comes out, I would address it. But with certain situations, it was time to move on. And I think that's really what needs to happen is, I think that at this point, we need to go, okay, she made an apology. I believe it. I don't believe it. Whatever. I'm going to subscribe to her and stay a fan. Or I'm going to unsubscribe. I can't follow anymore. And then move on. It's like, at some point, this is going to all have to end, right? And everybody's going to have to continue to go on. I really, really wish Gabriel and Nikita would just put out their videos so that, because you know they're going to now, okay? Laura and Manny have both put out videos. If Nikita and Gabriel don't, they're going to look really bad at this point, right? So I just wish they would put out videos and say their piece, and then we can move past all this shit, you know? And I could finally make my Graveyard Girl apology video about Starbucks. You know, because, like, at some point, we've got to just kind of move past all this. Don't you agree? Like, whether you agree with it or, or not, you know, you have to move past it. I was pretty impressed with the fact that she owned the picture, and that's what I've asked for. So where I'm standing, I'm moving forward with this issue. Thank you, Laura, for the apology video. It's up to you guys to decide whether you believe it or not. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.